big fat freaking pimple right here but overall my skin's getting okay i <laughs> look a little ugly right now because i just washed my hair my ears are out because i can't hello i can't hear without i can't hear but i want them out i don't know my, what my issue is i don't know if it's like a neurodivergent thing or like what the fuck my issue is but i need my ears out okay Eleven PM at night. I'm answering emails while sitting. I'm in my kitchen eating chicken fingers with spicy mustard. This is a big bowl of grapes. Can you see? Hold on.
snacks last night. I only had one of these. They're like, okay, here, I'll show you. Okay, we're gonna do like a little topic. I need to chill out. Okay, we're gonna do a like a topic portion. Some topics I wanna talk about on my own and some were sent. I'm gonna start with one that I feel strongly about. Well, I feel strongly about all of them. Um, also, I did my makeup a little, a little bit different today. So if I look like, I just, sometimes feel like I look weird when I try new stuff because I can't tell if it's for me or not but anyways okay first we're gonna start off basically this girl told me she was in high school and she isn't like experienced with sex obviously which is normal and she's like doing it for the first time with her boyfriend or like she's like in a relationship for the first time or something like that she asked me something like along the lines of what do I do if like my boyfriend wants to have sex but I don't want to have sex don't <laughs> there's like nothing else to that because like if you don't want to do it then don't do it um that's like with everything with sex I feel like high school boys men in general kind of a lot of them especially just like high school boys since like you're in high school so i'm gonna like i'm gonna section in on those specific age groups um they speaking from experience will try to push it there are obviously good ones out there that don't aren't all about that but a lot of them like i feel like high school is a very like people are having sex for the first time i mean some people are some people aren't um but it's very like prominent in a lot of high schoolers minds and life and relationships which is fine but i don't know anyways they will try to push it you're not like prude or vanilla or weird for not wanting to do these things like it's really not weird i know in the moment you feel like there's something wrong with you for not wanting to have sex or not wanting to do a b and c with him also a lot of like everybody has different sex drives like libidos so that can play into that i know like in the moment and like the age that you are and you're in high school like just in the moment it can feel like you're a weirdo or like you're left out for not wanting to do a b and c but you're not like you're gonna grow up and you're gonna look back even when you turn 20 or even when you're like a senior in high school maybe you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like who gives a fuck what fucking adam on i don't know the football team or whatever the debate squad i don't even know i haven't been in high school for a long time who cares what adam and fucking daniel think of me because chances are like adam and daniel and zach and fucking zeke or whatever are not gonna be like maybe you guys could go to the same college but like they're not gonna be a big part of your life you know like everybody that bullied me in high school everybody in high school period besides maybe one or two people that I still have on social media. We're not friends, but I just like, we have each other on social media. And so we keep with, up with each other that way. And sometimes we'll message. That's besides the point, but yeah, it really, high school matters. But at the same time, it, like with the sex stuff and the relationship stuff, like, yeah, like get your experience with other people. I don't mean sexual experience. I just mean like life experience also, but like, don't feel pressured. Like if, if, if there's a reason why you don't want to have sex, do you know what I mean? whether you're tired, it's the wrong guy, he's not taking care of you, blah, 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 blah. Like the reasons could go on. And it's not always because of the guy. Sometimes it's just like, you don't feel like it. Sometimes there's no reason. Like sometimes it's just like, I don't really feel like it today, sorry. And the right guy will not give a fuck. Like, okay, anyways, let's move on. If you don't, don't do anything that you don't wanna do sexual wise, okay, ever. And it's okay to change your mind also. And if they get mad, who fucking cares? Like they can just be mad because blue balls never killed anybody. And I'm starting to think it's fake. Like just zip it and jack off in the bathroom like a normal person into a sock or like a Dixie cup, okay? You know what I mean? Blue balls, you'll live. 
like don't try it don't who cares okay like normal people are just okay like you're not gonna die and cry if you don't do you know what i'm saying like they're not gonna die and cry if you don't have sex with them okay your body is very i don't like to sound like this kind of person because i hate when people sound like this kind of person but i am this kind of person i just don't like to sound i try my best to be real with you guys when it comes to like spiritual things um and like energy just spiritual things because i know that it's kind of annoying at least to me when it's like all grand rising hello people of the world today the new moon will bring us a bit of you know what i mean like i don't like people like that I don't like spiritual people like that. Like, just be fucking normal. Like, we're already not normal because you're connecting to this and you're connecting to these energies and those energies and like this God and that God and da 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 da. Your ancestors, like, you're already not normal just being spiritual a little bit, right? You don't have to like replace I with E Y E, I, okay? Like, that's my rant with that. I don't even know what the fuck. Like, people are interested in spirituality but they're also interested in like who are you like behind hiding because like like who are you behind the spirituality because like spirituality is like the front door like who the fuck is in the house who the fuck is in the backyard who's in the back rooms and i'm not saying like spirituality is shallow because that's kind of what it makes it how it seems but i'm just saying that like it's not your entire identity like being a vegan being a vegetarian being a meat eater all like that just for example is not really your identity it's just what you eat you know what i mean so it's just like spirituality is not like who i am it's just i just connect with like specific gods and goddesses whatever i just connect with specific things and it's what i believe you know what i mean i don't know and i'll talk about it but it's just like anyways the whole fucking point that i was trying to say is like i know this is going to sound annoying but it is true your body is a temple spiritually but also stds exist so your body's really a temple you know what i mean so i just want to like remind you that like i feel like if i'm being honest i don't know if it was like the people that i hung out with in high school or just my high school or like the state that i was in or something but i feel like young people like minors um high school people high school kids they are like hypersexual and sometimes it goes away in adulthood and sometimes it doesn't which is why we have men and women that are full of lust that don't want anything else um did i stray away from the topic don't do anything that you don't want to do okay so the first one is using zillow the app z i l l o w if you don't know what it is to manifest and to use visualization to manifest um so i'm gonna pull up the app for you right now wait i'm gonna i'm gonna choose like a different i'm looking for houses in south carolina and north carolina and i do know about the flooding so don't even trip i'm aware you like we're gonna choose like a random state let's see allow let's see let's do like what should we do it doesn't even matter let's do Alabama okay so does it have any of my information no okay wait what the fuck where am I oh damn here is what it looks like choose we're gonna choose just any listing listing okay click on the pictures click on a house find a house this is literally only if you're trying to manifest like a house or like somewhere else to live i think no i think i know um so find a house that you really really actually want to move into don't just like do a random house make sure it's literally perfect okay and look at the pictures and you're gonna visualize you or your family both whatever um living in that house like this picture for example in my head i'm visualizing like 
us moving in and then like my dog running back and forth like very simple things like what flowers do you want on the front porch you know what i mean like what color do you want to paint the door okay so yeah like even like this picture of the driveway i'll like picture my exact car and my um man's exact car in the driveway and what it's gonna look like when we're unloading groceries like very very simple things like what kind of reef 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 wreath are you gonna put on your door are you even gonna put one on there like you know what i mean like do you even like these shrubs like are you gonna change the shrubs you know what i'm saying um it's just like yeah and i usually put some music on for this i'm sorry if i'm like hunching over i just i can't help it okay Ooh, this is actually a really pretty house i think this is in georgia though so we're not gonna move there but like imagine where the couch would be imagine like if you want kids or if you have kids like where your kids would be playing where would their playroom be where would your music studio be set up where would you walk your dogs like look at the trails around the house i wrote notes nobody sent this to me i just want to talk about it because it's been it's been really yeah okay so the first one is okay i wrote notes anyways I said, there's a brand of women that go around saying he should love me for me is not right. Like he shouldn't love you for you. Okay. Um, that's what they're saying. And they're saying that like, it's a bad mindset because men won't like you when you let yourself go and aren't pretty anymore. If my man loves red nails, then I'll do a red nail, um, kind of thing. And then I said, the thing is, that's also normal and fine, but you have to also like it. If you hate red and he loves red, why are you getting red? You know, like when I say like my man like likes my hair really long, for example, if I wanted my hair short, I would cut it short. Like it's like what you want and the person that you're meant to be with will like not give a fuck me and my man have seen each other at our worst like just being sick or like having covid in the past just very sick like it just shouldn't matter like if you love that person it shouldn't matter and i also want to say that these people these women i don't care if this is mean because this is not good advice and nobody should follow it like first of all like these women are only saying that no one's gonna like you for you like no man is gonna date you for you because they have shitty personalities because they're literally the most judgmental pieces of shit on this fucking planet okay like duh so yeah of course a man's not gonna like you unless you're pretty because you don't have anything else to offer my guy like you need to be nice <gasps> you need to be nice to people on this earth that's insane do you know what i'm saying like you need to have compassion like none of these people have compassion i'm getting overstimulated sorry i'm like playing with my hair none of these people have compassion none of these people have like humanity for themselves or other people and i do know it's like a projection of how they feel about themselves because like no man is gonna like them for them because their personality is literally just so mean honestly and i know i when i insult people like that i don't feel bad because i only insult pieces of shit I don't insult people that aren't harming people or like just people minding their business. I insult people when they like deserve it. Yeah. And I don't care because I think it's like warranted and like you need to be the bigger person. And like, no, I don't. Sometimes the bigger person is telling you to shut the fuck up because nobody ever has before. Do you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes that's the bigger person. Sometimes the bigger person is putting someone in their place when they cross you. Sometimes being the bigger person is cussing someone out. Sometimes the b being the bigger person is walking away though, but it's, how do you feel in the moment? Like it's the situation anyways. And at the end of the day, like a man that loves you, a person, woman, man, sorry, that loves you for you because you should not be getting into relationships with people that don't like you for you or that love you, don't that don't love you for you. Like, just stay single for the rest of your life. I know that's not what you want to hear, but like, I, it's just better to stay single for the rest of your life if you, like, 
versus being with somebody, getting married to somebody, or just living with somebody for the rest of your life and you feel alone when someone's right next to you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sorry, there's like a, a hummingbird at the feeder. Anyways, yeah, it's just not normal. And these people are always like really fucking terrible people. Okay, it's like the most controversial people saying this shit. And it's like, yeah, you would think that because being pretty is all you have to offer. Like you don't have like opinions of your own. You don't have compassion for other people or even yourself because why would you like, do you know what I'm saying? So the people that are giving like the sprinkle sprinkle lady, I'm sorry. Like she makes good points a little bit. I try, she's not really on my um, feed a lot or my for you page a lot like my algorithms because I don't interact with her stuff because I don't like her um it's just like you you should never have to grow into a marriage and I mean that by like you know how like royalty like English English like kings and queens or whatever they have arranged marriages and you kind of like have to grow to like the person and then it's like oh I actually do love you because I was forced to be with you against my fucking will because it was arranged Okay, like I would rather die. I would rather be single for the rest of my fucking life than ever be with somebody who I had to tolerate all the time. Like I don't tolerate my man. I am ecstatic, like genuinely excited all the time to hang out with him. And the, the feeling's mutual, otherwise we wouldn't be in this relationship. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like very, I'm not trying to brag like my man, my man, this and my man that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just using me an example as an example of like kind of what to compare it to because I don't know who else to use as like an example. Okay, just to make that clear. But yeah, don't listen to those ladies because they're fucking crazy. And like, I don't know, I'd rather be poor. I know I'd rather be poor and like madly in love, like truly madly in love getting treated right every single day by my man and then be rich and have to fuck somebody every night and be with somebody every night that i don't love or that i had to grow to love ew that's hell anyways so like the people like like the thing is like if you are centered they're just centering themselves around money which i've also talked about which it just isn't when you're looking for a relationship whatever whatever okay 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 i don't know if this is gonna be controversial but okay I had to stop watching two YouTubers because they were just so dense and like out of touch. I know, shocker, right? Um, I'm obviously not gonna tell you who they are, but I'm gonna tell you what was the last straw because I don't know why people don't have brains nowadays. It's sickening, it's sickening. Like genuinely, it's sickening. <clears throat> fashion week fashion week so tired okay yeah basically just like complaining all the time in every single video like i'm so tired from fashion week i'm so tired from fashion week it's giving i'm so tired opening all my free pr packages i'm so tired because i just got back from an all expense paid brand trip and let me say are you allowed to be tired from creating content and doing influencer shit, of course. But you still need to read the room. Like you really do. Um, are people not allowed to complain that they're tired anymore? Not if it's like out of like, okay, so go work a nine to five. Like, what are you talking about? Go get a job at a coffee shop. Like it's tiring, it's tiring, it's tiring. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just like, I get where you're coming from and I can empathize with you. But at the same time, there's always gonna be something going on in the world. There's always gonna be something going on in the world and an influencer can always vent about their tiredness and da 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 da. Mm, no, you can't, I'm sorry. Oh, um, I'm sorry, like you can't, you can't. To your friends, to your family, to other influencers, of course, but like you have to read the room, like know your audience, you know? 
oh like i'm so tired of going to fashion week and like it's the worst week of my life and then i got sick and then i'm gonna but i had to stop like what are you talking about i don't know it's like dude dude watch me be a fucking influencer in the future watch me be one and listen someone come find where i live and smack the fuck out of me like five of you at one time if i ever act like that and i'm not saying like i'm better than these people because i feel like that's what it's like giving like i'm bitter and i'm better no it's just like you have to learn to read the room as an adult who like posts online like like i just saw this girl they were like cleaning up footage or footage they were cleaning up um hurricane debris from in Asheville in North Carolina and so they were on the beach and it was a sunny day but like shit was just wrecked you know like the hurricane was like you know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about it's like everywhere anyway so they're cleaning up all this shit there's like a couch on the beach like crazy shit not that that's crazy but like a couch blew from the house to the beach oh no it flooded it flooded it didn't blow it's not a tornado anyways bitch it's like the cleanup crew and all the volunteers and then you pan to the side of the tiktok video and it's like this girl in a bikini like doing a little shoot like like a little bikini shoot and it's like that like you it's like it that's them that's them like you there's nothing wrong with being an influencer and going to these events and like doing all this stuff but it's like you have to learn to read the room like you can still do all these things of course and make sponsored content and do all these things but it's like you, you have to do it better in a different way.